Thank you for joining us tonight on 10 Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Miranda Parnell. Putin has ordered Russian nuclear forces to be on high alert as troops continue their attack on Ukraine. Street fighting broke out in Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv, forcing a children's hospital to move to an underground bomb shelter. Overnight, Russian forces blew up Ukrainian airfields and fuel facilities. The mayor of Ukraine's capital says his city is completely surrounded, and satellite images show hundreds of Russian trucks only 40 miles away. But Ukrainian forces have maintained hold over the city. We hope uh, the Russians uh, take the decision, move back to Russia. They nothing to find here in our home, and uh, but uh, I see so many people. We are everybody proud of our, our army of Ukrainian who defend our city, defend our homes, defend our, our family. Ukraine announced a delegation will meet with Russian officials. While some Ukrainians are seeking shelter in underground spaces like subway stations, others are seeking refuge in neighboring countries. The United Nations says there are at least 150,000 refugees, with most of them going to Poland and Moldova. Meanwhile, the European Union is banning Russian airlines from their airspace. This means any Russian-owned, registered, and controlled planes won't be able to land, take off, or fly over the 27 countries in the EU. And you can already see the impact of that ban. On Flight Radar 24, you can see all the Russian planes being forced to divert. Experts say this tactic will add significant time and cost for Russia. The EU will also start supplying Ukraine with weapons. This is the first time ever that the EU has given weapons to a country under attack. They're also banning some pro-Kremlin media outlets.